Actually, you know what? I haven't even been keeping up with Kathleen Kennedy stuff or the directors or Ryan Johnson Johnson's stuff right. or, you know, any of JJ's stuff for some odd reason, but... Um, Wait, so wait, wait, so so wait. You did see, you did see the, her shirt. The force is female. The force is female shirt. No, no you seen, haven't. I have not seen okay, any so she of the propaganda. This was at like uh, Star Wars Celebration a while back, and she was wearing a uh, the force is female T-shirt, and this was the big uh, photo that they took of it, and it was this big thing, and it's like, why? Okay, so Mother Nature is female. And I suppose the force can't be too. So you, so but, you're okay with that? You're you're okay with the force being a female gender? The force. Uh, the force is the force. So I figure it is female. It is male. It is omniscient in all right. things because it surrounds us. It binds. I guess seeing it that way, the way it surrounds us and binds us, it could be a female. That's. I mean, I'm okay with that. Keep, keeps you under lock and key. <laughs> 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 keeps no, the part you, keeps the you, part you, that keeps I you have away it, from the, all your good times and all your fun and your friends. Don't care. <laughs> the part that I have issue with is not so much the male or female. It's just the one over the other. And I kind of understand what's going on with the push. You know, it, it seems like with any any awareness or any push, things have to go like completely 180 degrees in the but, opposite but direction. But do they? That's the point. Is that Joe, Joe, I was having this conversation with Joe just tonight, and he said, two wrongs don't make a right. Right. So it's like, it, 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 it does that. People right. are do, feeling like that, that has to happen to make things right, but two wrongs don't make well, a right. Well, and honestly, history is really amnesiatic, you know, and that's why things bounce back and forth and why I think history repeats itself all the time because people forget and now that we're in this digital age where so many things are recorded and you know everything's at our disposal i think that's why the microphone or the megaphone for you know this type of awareness or the flex is so prevalent um and joe's right in that sense two wrongs don't make a right i don't necessarily agree that 180 flip to the other end is that good and i don't think that well that should be coming from freaking hollywood executives who have all the money and they think they've got influence over it. Okay. Okay. they're not the grassroots okay. movements that really constitute change you know the civil rights didn't start well, from freaking you know some movie executives well, well in this in this modern world it, it kind of does though like because you have your average uh person who's in the middle of nowhere in a small town or in the middle of somewhere and they go see movies when they're kids and they grow up on movies and that's what we do we grow up on films and that does have a a very large i'm not the saying necessarily yeah. that it has like everything but it has a very large impact on your life etc it, it does kind of show you how to think or whatever the point is is that let, let's just back go back and simplify it for a second let's though. do it back to the force so you think that it's okay that for her to say the force is a gender, a female gender force? Sure, if she wants to say it, that's cool. Okay, it doesn't okay. necessarily make it the facts or the right. truth. Right, but here's the, honestly, the problem is, not... is that she's the president of Lucasfilm. That's right. the problem. No, the problem is not that it's like the force is, the force is female. The message in that is that the force is not male. Right. You know, and instead of, and that's maybe Joe's particular point in the wrong, two wrongs don't make a right, because right. this isn't about male or female. It's, it you know, she's, she's trying to make a point for, you know, not oppressing women, but then hating on somebody else or hating on men or hating on white men, which I am because I was born into, which wasn't a choice of mine at all. You know, I, I don't know. It's just. And besides, besides that, it's just like choosing one hate over another. You know, your yeah. oppressor or something is yeah. hates you, so you're going to turn around and hate them, and that's going to make everything yeah. okay, Once. which it freaking doesn't. You know, if you want to be the bigger person and you want to make things change for the better, then you need to be able to see both sides. You need to be able to find the middle ground. You need to be able to project the goodness in all things forward which is what I always thought the force was to begin with exactly and that's the point is that she's not she's not seeing both sides there when you when you're when you have this idea that you have to push things the other way to get your way or to get things to wedge things in 
um, then that's that's the problem. And, and, and I mean, something as big as the Force. I mean, this is something that has been a spiritual companion of ours for so, for decades. It's something that has stood by us. It's something that we can all believe in, fiction or nonfiction, whatever. We can all believe in it in, in the, in the, in the uh, stories of these movies and live inside of that. And for 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 her to take for her to just jump on that and say, well, it's a it's a woman that you're that and, that is and dictating. Maybe, and maybe we're reading a little too far into this because I, again, I haven't seen whatever hype or like political correctness is going on around Star Wars. For I just have kept myself out of it lately. Okay, I've been watching the movies, I've been hanging out watching shows, and that's that. Um, <laughs> And maybe I should jump into this kind of scenario. So the the thing that I was going to mention real quick, though, is is with that particular idea, that's freaking great because maybe it's a stab also at you know Christianity or the idea of God being male, you know, and then also having His only begotten Son yeah. being male, right, right, and the fact that we've got something as spiritual as the Force that we've all grown up on that the Force can be female, and if that's the case, then sh- whatever, but, you but, know. But but the pro- th- that's the problem is that none of us have ever said. The force is male. That's right. the you know, no one has ever said that ever. No one has ever sat there and went, oh, the, the god of the force is male. So therefore, it's you know it you know we're thinking of this this way. This is the way it's supposed to be. You know, no, I don't. I mean, it's it's absolutely ludicrous. What statement is she making, Ben? What what is it? Is it the, the, that women are also part of the force? Is it that the force is separate from male and that men suck? Or, I mean, is it more hate yeah, or is it inclusion? What is it? I, I, I it's not inclusion. It's exclusion. It's alienation. If you say literally, if you're if you're saying anything, if someone were to say the force is male, if someone wore a T-shirt that said <laughs> the force is male, this comment, well, gravity is male, then. <laughs> I guess physics, we're separating into elemental <laughs> genders, is what's going on. So what does, uh, I don't know, we got gravity. Alex, have a seat, does Alex. that mean protons and neutrons are male and female? Well, I just... I, does, is an electron a transgender? <laughs> is it uh, hermaphroditical? <laughs> um, I don't know. The <laughs> gravity must be the alpha chad male. Wait, when, you, when you say, when you, when you genderize something as basic and amazing as the force... And say that it is one specific gender, excluding all males. When you're saying that, you're ba- and, and you're basically saying f you to all of those people. Well, and has, so that's has she the problem. Actually, said anything publicly of you know down with men or the force no. is not male or I mean no. But for her to wear the T-shirt that says the force is female, I mean, come on. Well, and I don't know Kathleen Kennedy because I obviously haven't been keeping up with her and. and I don't know. I, now I'm gonna have to. So, so, so you're okay with her saying that? You're okay with it? I. It's fine if you are. You can, well, you well, can, you, you can be okay thank, with it. Thank you for letting me be okay. With sorry, it. no, no, I'm sorry. I don't. I, I just, I was so upset about it, and I just forgive me if I, if I was making. And the f- white male is giving me, uh, <laughs> is giving me the okay to be all right with women as well. <laughs> you're gonna- <laughs> what an asshole! Ah! <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding, man. No, no, oh my gosh. I, I'm okay with it, but I'm just not sure how far I should read into it, I guess, because I really haven't gone down that rabbit hole. Alex, do you have, do, Alex, do you have any, uh, anything to say about this Forces Female t-shirt? No. Okay. About these I don't guys know, have to Solo was pretty masculine. The whole movie that, had a pretty that's... masculine vibe. Great, that's awesome. Um, but for 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 this to happen, this is why this is why people are boycotting. This is why people are boycotting, because what, because of what Kathleen Kennedy because of this is basically Be- doing post credits or post shooting post production. It's not it's not post anything. It's it's the president of Lucasfilm saying f you to all the male fans that have been but watching this I'm thing saying. for. Is that what she's saying? By she's- saying the force is female, yes. No? Well, uh, so there's never been a Force is male shirt. Right. As, right. So saying the Force is female is kind of ridiculous. It's, it's alienating. It's 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 retconning and killing something that we've believed in for many years and cared about for many years and loved for many years. And the first time it was mentioned, it was mentioned by Obi-Wan Kenobi in this angelic voice. And for her to say that it's a gender 
it's it's kind of lame as hell anyway well it's it's lame so, at this particular point in the game because you're like nine ten movies into it and now you're gonna put out a t-shirt that says this is that exactly that is this when it's like that's i guess where it doesn't really bother me so much because the force has been around long enough with me is she can say whatever the heck she wants to it does not change the way i integrate right. myself or how right. i feel about the force that's kind of like so. i'm the same way right now okay well it's look, like that's cool it's like uh you can wear it, but it's so set in stone, at least for me, it's like, it doesn't bother me. So cool, you can think that, but it's not that way. And and we all know. Okay, well, great. Okay, good. Then I guess I guess the, the reason why is because the way, being being that way and, and having to express your feelings in that way and saying the force is female, it's, to me personally, it's offensive and, and rude and, and lame. But that's awesome for you guys just being able to shrug it off. But the reason why I think it holds such weight for me is because she's the one who's deciding the future of Lucasfilm, the future of Star Wars, all the future things that are coming to us. So well, that's that's why it's that's why it's a weird thing for 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 the president well, of Lucasfilm thing, to 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 say that to say that it, that it for, the force has a gender and it's a female gender. So it's like, you know, after that, it's just weird. It's just well, weird. Okay, so uh, thinking about this a little more. So she's been the president since Lucas dropped out. But three, uh, three, what, three and a half years, something like that. Right, and she's been. Well, wow, you know more it's than I do on this. Been like how, how. Um, We've had like. How long has she been in the in the power position that she's been in at Lucasfilm? Like how long has she been around? In Lucas, in Lucasfilm, I don't know, but she. I mean, she hasn't. She's only. She's been an executive producer. On like hundreds of movies, just working as like. Executive, executive producing and producing, not directing or doing any of that, but not making any decisions, but just being part of the team on pro the as pro of producers on films for. She was on. She was on the producers team of all the uh, Indiana Jones movies so, and everything. Like she's been with George Lucas and for a long time, and that's why George um, trusted her. So anyway, but if you guys don't care, that's 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 great. I'm, I don't I'm, necessarily in the sense of. Go how ahead. I feel about the force in itself. I guess you're thinking about it more, and I'll be thinking about this more and more, and I'll probably let's, be changing let's, ideas on it. But I guess the thing that I just wanted to make real quickly is the fact that, and I ask, is because if she's been producer for this long, or she's been president of, of Lucasfilm for three years now, it seems kind of, you know, cheeseball and propaganda ish to do this in a way that it's just following the Me Too campaign mm -hmm. you know it's like if this was actually something that she felt strongly about wouldn't she have been doing this well before you know, yeah deciding it's like, well, at this well, moment well now that she has like, a now that she's in power right she's she's like okay well i'm the president of lucasfilm so i'm gonna exercise my right to and that's fine she can wear whatever she wants the, the problem is is that it's offensive to people who care about the force when you're when the force is something that's above that it's above a gender it's something that is for that's for all living things that's something that george lucas made up he didn't say no one ever said it was ma was male or any gender whatsoever and for her to, to do that it alienates all the the men which is makes up the bulk of the Star Wars fan base. It alienates all of them. Yeah, yeah, and I get it, and I think I, I think I get it. I, you know, I've always been a mama's boy, and, and I, I love the female gender. I love, I don't know. I, I, I kind of understand where it's coming from, but I don't know. It's. It, Think I about really, it. I mean, we'll yeah, talk about I'll it later. I just was. I'm just really curious. Do you have anything more to add, Alex? Before we move on, I just yeah. Curious. I just think of the science fiction, the the science part. We all know it's like a it's the force. It's literally the name of it. It's it's a force. It's not. I don't know. So that's why it doesn't bother me like one bit, because I don't know if 80 percent of the fans are men, and do we all know? We all know that it's yeah yeah. Not, I get it. Come doesn't come down to it. So I don't know. Almost being. And I'm not saying you're butthurt, because you're not. I know you're not, but there are people that are. Because I've seen it. I know what you're talking about. There's people that have blown up. The more you blow up, the more you feed into it. Well, it's like, let's, let, me, let me just turn it. Let me just, we'll close with this. We'll close with this. So, if someone were to wear a shirt that, that, that said the force is male, people would be effing pissed. Okay. People would be or, really No, pissed. you know what? They'd be pissed if, if there was a shirt that said... Only boys are Jedi's. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. The, yeah. Then they would yeah. be pissed. But, and that's basically, and that's basically what she, that's what you're equivalent. saying. That's, that's the, the equivalent. equivalent. Yeah. And I get that. I get that. Well, and you know what's funny is if somebody wore a shirt that said, 
the force is male and me being male, I would be like, that's dumb. Oops, I did it again. Well, <laughs> but it's not because I hate men or can, I hate you, myself because I do. Okay, so but <laughs> so you're saying so you're saying that the force the a force is male T-shirt would be dumb, but yeah. a force is force is female is okay. It's also dumb. Thank you. But it's That's o- a- I mean if it's okay because I'm not a female if they want to wear it. I mean I can't really say, and it is Kathleen Kennedy's brand it is hers so i guess you know you know what i just realized the that they're probably to trying to make it feel like mother nature i just barely realized that no they're not yeah huh <laughs> no they're not. uh-huh that's the only no, reason mother, mother, universe. mother nature mother universe she's a mother she's cosmos. a god yeah like like dude that's the that's the only like spin i can nature see them the justifying it cruel, that's what i'm saying i'm saying place. maybe kathleen has ulterior motives old Alter- Al- ulterior alter did i say that right yeah but that would be the that would be their selling point. Oh. Well, then why didn't she say "Mother Force of the Universe" or something like that? Like when you when you blatantly say something like "The Force is female," that's that's literal. I mean, I I wonder I wonder if she knew that people would get pissed about that. Like it's it's just the we- it's, it's just, just weird. Does it just whatever. mean does this mean that the Force has erogenous zones? <laughs> Oh my goodness. You know? Apparently it does. If it's so, a gender, it does. If it's a gender, it does. That's that's the weird part about it. You're turning you're you are, you're sexualizing okay. something. So if that we're is gonna do sexual. that, then we should capitalize on the smut market and make millions. Ooh. We should make for next Halloween we'll make slutty force outfits. Oh my gosh. There we go. <laughs> we start doing that, I bet they'll change real quick. They'll be no, like, uh, yeah, that wasn't a good idea. Yes, do it. <laughs> No, but it is. It is stupid because you shouldn't be sexualizing something that is yeah. basically a metaphysical, you know, presence or you know, force. The surrounding. It's not a presence. It's everything. I mean, I guess it's around the, us. Do the midi, do the midi chlorians also have like separate things, separate gender? Appa- uh, yeah, apparently midi chlorians have female genitalia now. Are they like according chromosomes? To her. Are they X and Y chromosomes? No, much? they would have like, to be like asexual cells that just reproduce, that just split. That just divide. But they're but according to Kathleen Kennedy, they're female cells. See, that's okay. that's that's the problem that you're getting into. You are you are sexualizing something that's not sexual. Anyway, hey. whatever. Well, so <laughs> but let me. Let, we're gonna close with just on. saying that, like the fact that remains that if someone yeah, were to wear a shirt that said "The Force is Male," people would be pissed. People would be all sorts of pissed. So we for we should make our own shirt. Only boys can be Jedi's. <laughs> I'm serious. That would get wild. The, um, Spread the hate, buddy. Spread the sin. That like, yeah. Spread it. That would be wild. There can only be two: a male and a Jedi. <laughs> or was that a female and a Jedi? <laughs> so anyway, thanks for uh, joining us. This has been the Fanatics of Film, and the Force has no gender.